Michael, good morning. Morning, Ma. Oh, how'd you sleep? Oh, I slept okay. I just woke up too early. Anyway. Where are we? Uh, we are in North Platte, Nebraska, I think. Everything's starting to just become a blur. It's been a long trip. Anyway, um, today we're hoping to get up and over the Loveland Pass and down into the valleys and into the green fields and pastures and sunshine. On our way to Vegas is the plan, but... Uh, Let's see what the weather gods have in store for us first. Uh, what day is it today? Wednesday. Wednesday. Uh, highs of 11, lows of 3. Uh, rain. Thursday, snow, 3 and 0. Friday, snow, 5 minus 2. But we should be through there today, so looks like rain. 40% chance, not too bad. Uh, oh, what is this? Winter storm warning. <laughs> what? Huh? It says there's a winter storm warning. And they said it's rain. Oh, severe. Significant threat to life or property. Does that include Chevelle's? Uh, weather event, 9 p.m., March 13th. What's the date today? Today's the, uh, not till nighttime. Um, uh, heavy wet snow expected between 8 and 16 inches. Boulder in the western suburbs. Rain will change to snow mid to late evening. Um, travel would be very difficult to impossible, especially late tonight through Thursday night. Scattered power outages. Um, North Douglas County below 6,000 feet. Huh. I think we're going to miss it. I hope so. Anyway, that's a pretty nasty sounding storm. It says it's not supposed to start till nine o'clock. Yeah, but is the Loveland Pass before that or after? I don't. I'm not even. Know. I haven't looked at a map. Is Loveland Pass after Denver? I don't know. Let's just see what the weather says for Loveland Pass. Denver. I think we're only five hours, aren't we? Six hours. I think so. Okay. Well, we'll, then hopefully that doesn't affect us. We don't need another severe winter storm. We've had one already. Been there, done that. I think we're going to get everybody out of bed and start making a mile. Any luck we could be through there before it hits or close to it. It says, take action in the near future. Get out of bad knot. Let's go. Well, just a few more minutes. No. Oh, where's my socks? I put them in the garbage okay. in plastic because okay. they're not very <laughs> kind to the nose, okay. to the olfactory senses, Michael. Let me go grab a new pair. They're in the gar- look in the garbage. Sure. Smells like victory. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Get out of mine bed. Are no, mine are no better. No. Mike, what are you doing? I'm washing my feet before I put on my lap. There. My good luck socks. Who do you think you are? You Jesus? Yes, my loved one pass socks. It's the 13th today, like all the stars are just aligning. Today I went to weather warning. Wednesday the 13th, at least it's not Friday the 13th, it would be just perfect. Anyway. Hopefully oh. they're good luck socks. Yes, good luck socks. Okay. Okay, let's get going, put some clothes on. Uh, see, look, bro. Yeah. What? Let me see. Smell like diesel. All my socks do. I washed them with my shop rags. <laughs> uh, Not the smartest tool in the drawer there, man, but they are clean. Your feet look at least you're, they're not like... Yeah, so not covered in toe jam. It's a step up. Well, they're also they're not like uh, Gollum, at least. No. Uh, I wonder what Avery's feet look like. <laughs> I have to be in them boots all that time. Wood clubs. <laughs> we got the charger going? Yeah. Look at that, full of battery. Full, yes. Yeah, full of life and optimism. Yes. Thank you, Milwaukee batteries. Just in case we get stuck somewhere, eh, man? I love our cell phone service. Can scream for help in the wilderness. Okay. Pitter patter. Pitter patter. Let's get out of it, boys. This is a winter, severe winter storm warning in the Loveland Pass. Await. What is the one thing that they said? Severe threat? To life and property. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen that yet. No. Yeah, I think, yes. Uh, that blizzard, that first blizzard we came through. But it wasn't at 12,000 feet. 
The, Mike, the report I saw was 24 inches. Yeah, well, I don't care. Let's go. See what we get there. Are we, we gonna? Have, what are we gonna I'm stop? Sure maybe. We're not stopping it through through there, man. No, but we might pick something up. You said. No. Pick up what? Oh, maybe set it. Uh, cable chains in Denver, just in case. You never know. I was gonna get some in Kamloops, and everybody poo pooed the idea. I should know better. Do you think the engineers in Detroit or Oshawa, wherever, Chevelle, uh, thought that maybe in 50, 60 years? We'd be driving the Loveland Pass in a big block 68. Probably not. It's okay, it doesn't matter. Go slow. Hey, look at the bright side. It's only 20 miles. Four up and 16 down. Mike can't wait for the cold start. Bye. Hey, we ready to go? In the box and down the chute, like gas through a funnel and eggs through a head. <laughs> Hopefully. How you doing? All right, sir, you? Just getting ready to fear for my life for the next eight hours. Okay, we came all the way down to North Platte for that? Yeah, we did. We knew you were here. We said, hell, we'll show up talking. talk to you. Hey, what did I do with my phone? I don't know about the alarm. Hey, the alarm's been ringing on it for the last half an hour, Mike. Yeah, shut, shut the alarm off. Okay, I'll keep working. <laughs> How How's you it going? You from here or where are you from? I'm from uh, Rushville, Nebraska. Okay, how is that a long ways away? About five hours. Was that right, eh? What can you tell us about the Loveland Pass in a severe winter snowstorm? It's fun. There you go, it's fun, let's go. That's oh, where we're man. heading. Fun, he says it's fun. He might you know be dying. You know. It looks like you know. Looks like you know what you're doing, Andrew Mike. Blizzards, baby. What's that, Mike? Yeah. We know what we're doing. We drove across that storm you guys had last week. We had it three days across the prairies up in Canada. Oh, shoot, it's really? I think yeah. this might be a little bit different, though. Yeah, we're higher up. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot different. You guys are just a bunch of whiners. Let's go. Hey, Mike, hey, you know what? We're all going to die! Hopefully not. Come on, don't encourage him. It's only severe. It's not extreme, Abe. Is that all? Yeah, it could get worse. <laughs> Listen, is severe extreme? Isn't severe more than extreme? No, or? extreme. Which one's worse? Extreme. It says don't drive. <laughs> Pull over. Where's our car? Huddle like together for shelter. It's not going to be cold. There's wet, heavy snow. It's going to be above freezing. But it's in summertime, it's about 50 kilometers an hour speed limit. 
I've watched videos of that pass for years because it's such a freaking nightmare. So, <laughs> I'm in a 4x4 with studded winters. I got no worries. Well, I still do. But in his car, he has no idea what he's in for. It'll be interesting to see. Not that I'm one to say I told you so, but I can't wait. <laughs> says diesel, where's gas? Oh, gas on the other side. Okay, okay bye. Major brand. We're gonna recheck the weather forecast and it still says blizzard or severe storm warning. Just just in case, I'm gonna grab a set of cable chains for the car. I wanted to get them in BC and everybody poo-pooed the idea, but now when it says severe storm warning, everybody thinks it might be a good idea. Cause you know what they say, proper planning precludes leaving my car in the Loveland Pass. And you know what, you know what? I don't care. <laughs> Ready to rumble. My car doesn't like 87. Better find some 94 to top it up to Denver so we can mix it. It's not f***ing hot out, so that's a bonus about that. Yeah. It's actually perfect driving weather. It's about plus whatever, 6. Whatever fuel you picked up yesterday wasn't that weird. I'm going through all these towns I've read about in books and cowboy Isn't books. Isn't that weird? And, yeah. yeah, now, yeah, yeah it's driving a, through them, right? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing we're going by there. Yeah. Like, I used to read a lot of Louis L'Amour. Learn to read again, Abe. Check that weather forecast again. Has it changed? Remember the Loveland Pass that started at noon today. The other one said Denver tomorrow. Because today's the 14th. No, it said the 14th. Maybe it is tomorrow. Maybe we're going to get lucky, eh? Mike that one was 1 800. How's my driving uh, things, Blair? Oh, that would crash a phone server somewhere. We had that. Is that a gas station over there? We're going to fill yeah. up while we're here. Okay. I gotta, I gotta, I'm going to go gas up and take a piss first. F me, man. Making a precautionary stop here at AutoZone just in case we hit the pass. They're calling for a severe storm uh, west of Denver, which is where we're heading, and we're going to grab some cable chains for the car just in case. We don't use them. Matt says I can take them back or he's going to pay for them. That's right. And we phoned up about some cable chains. I'm sorry? We phoned up about some cable chains for tires. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I'm going to have you jump in line. Okay, yeah, okay. Just checking. You're right, Michael. Yeah, and of course I'm right. <laughs> Ten more hours? 
10, 11. That dog's got bad taste. You know, he's got good taste. We could have just gone. We'd have been an hour ahead. I gave you the option. I gave you the option. I said, no, Mike, I should not check the weather. What did it say? You'd never go back to me on purpose. The weather is, no, the weather is coming, Mike. I said, where they are right now, it is clear. He says, but the weather's coming. Mm-hmm. Michael, don't f- start. <laughs> Come on. Like, no, 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 I'm, 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 cakes, cakes. <laughs> that is actually soothing. What? That is actually soothing. Hi. I said, yeah, I had a, had a couple pairs. 245, 40, 18? Yeah. Cable chains? Yep. What kind of vehicle? It's a 1968 Chevelle SS. That's not, it's not a standard tire size for it. Hmm. We're, we're, okay. we're tire chain, maybe just under 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 tire chain. Let's see. Does that help? No products. Oh, so There's a nice. tire chain guide. It's timing chain, Matt. Not tires. It's I timing said tire chain. Tire chain guide. Oh, maybe oh, where? Oh, maybe it's a timing. Yes, Matt. It's a timing chain. They might be. Uh, uh, nothing. nothing. Just tire chain. Maybe just tire chains. I mean, it's Denver. You guys must sell tire chains, no? Probably. It's just a. It's not an application. Tire chain accessories. Let's take a look. Yeah. Yeah. Round twist link. Uh, those are parts for tire chains. Tire chain accessories. Like so gonna cable tire a, right there. They're going to be in a blue bag back here, okay? Sorry? The chains, the okay. tire chains. Right. Um, they're going to be on one of these shelves in a blue bag. In blue bags. Mm, okay. I'll just look at the cable tire. Hit her in there and see what it has to say. Cable tire? That uh, just gives me a bunch of stuff. So let's yeah. just go with... We'll do show the line. Yeah, let's do... There's a Chevelle. Yeah, it don't matter. Uh, okay, you know what? Why not? Let's take a look. Uh, uh, nothing. nothing supported. <laughs> You're gonna go in a ditch. No. Nothing. But I, but bag just in case. But I did. Uh, well, just pull the bag. Can you just, just bring a, bring a bunch of the bags? No, because not the. Matt, those are the ones I want. They don't have them. It's okay. Let's well, look go. at the sixty-one dollar ones. Just okay, double check. Because okay, like we need options because the storm's building. What about what about the the next one down? It's okay, Matt. It's the computer. You rely on computers. I so. Someone said they had them in a bunch oh, they, of stuff. They looked in the computer. I yeah. called and someone looked in the computer. Okay. Now, this do, one, do you mind? Can at least call it another store. No, we can't stop another store because we're gonna miss the, the storm's coming. Can you just bring okay. some of those bags over so we can take a look at them? Ma, they they. I'm, trust me, Michael. Just bring a bunch of the bags so we can see what they're going to Okay, just got to give me a couple seconds. Yeah, yeah. I got to get them down from the ladder. Okay, okay nice. Okay, so what, what sizes do they, do they fit? Okay. So closest one for this one would be 245, 40, 19. Hang on, 245, 30. It fits 235, 35. Mm-hmm. 245, that's pretty close. Mm-hmm. Okay, and this one was the closest. Thousand so this would be the 245, 40, 19. Yeah, but I mean, but it also fits down to it like a, a 16. Yeah, hang on. So 235, 45. Like there's a 235, 45, 18. That's going to be the same as a 245. Does this one fit the same thing? 235. Are they the same price? 35, 18. Yeah, here, here, scan them. Yeah, you just see. Cause I think that one's... This might be closer to what yeah, we need. Yeah. Let's take a look. Because yeah. if we don't use them, we, we can return them in Vegas, right? At AutoZone? Any AutoZone. Okay, there yeah. you go, see? Okay, so this one is actually pulling up as the price for the first one I looked up at 161. Yeah. And then this one's popping up at same price. Same price. Okay, let's, okay, but, but let's just look. Okay, this one goes diagonal. It's like, this, like is that one basically the same thing? Same thing. This one fits at 245, 30, 19. 
but also if it's 16. They'll just, just get them. That's yeah, fine. Just get them. Okay, but, but this one comes even closer. A little smaller. This one fits like that. 235. Which one's bigger? Which one's smaller? This one fits 235, 45, no, no, 18. Which one's bigger or smaller? Not, like they fit three different sizes. This one's really close. It's within like well, what's that this far. One just slightly different. We'll take this one. Okay. okay. This one? okay. Yeah, that one and these. All right. Okay. Perfect. No Thanks, man. Make sure we'll have the right admin number. Yeah. Yeah. This side. yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah, happy now, Matt. Well, see, yeah, just happy. bring some bags out. We'll sort it out. All good. Yes, thank you. Yes, are you happy now, Mike? Uh, I was happy to try it without him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, worst case scenario, we can use them for weight in the truck. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, special shout out to our friends at uh No. Oh, Mike, I'll throw it in the holy trailer. Hey guys, special shout out to our friends at Shoe Swap uh, Trailer Rental. Rented us this beauty of a trailer. We never knew that the roads by Detroit were quite so rough. So uh, half of this thing just broke off due to the road vibration. We're just getting rid of it before it's a hazard to traffic. I will replace it upon returning this beautiful trailer. Thanks guys. You all put one in the back of the Chevelle? Yeah. You guys aren't gonna be that. We're full. We're okay, full. Let's get over there. Okay, let's up and over, boys. Up, up. Shut that side door. Yes. Let me just double check the blur because I've been known to think yes and it's no. Yes. We are lined and latched. We're good to go.
And Michael, how was that for you? Tell me a bit about the Loveland Pass. Well, we got lucky. We had good weather. Uh, very scenic, very beautiful. Now I know where all these ski, ski areas are. I've heard of Breckenridge and Dale's probably around here too or something. Who knows? But there's nothing but high-end condos and ski areas. It's good. As long as it stays wet, we're good. I, mean, I don't think we go up any higher, so it shouldn't be freezing. Should be. Mind you, there's snow on the road here a while ago. Look. Ah. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Guys, you ever get down here, make sure you drive through the Glenwood Canyon. Stay in the truck lane so you can go slow and admire the view. And remember, look up. <laughs> 